guys everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be unboxing the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Roll Collection Master Dominus and G2 Universal Leadfoot. So let's take a look at packaging first. Of course here we have Master Dominus in his really cool looking in mammoth mode. And of course we have Leadfoot in his really cool looking robot mode with his really cool bazooka and machine gun. Of course we have the Legacy logo, we have Wreck and Roll Collection, we have Transformers on the side. And of course over here we do have a the Decepticon Legacy artwork. Of course we have Megatron, Dragstrip, Iguana, Skywarp, and Kickback. And on the back here, Master Dominus transforms in 14 steps and Leadfoot transforms in 18 steps and of course we have all the pieces right there and there's that of course we have the Autobot Legacy artwork and that's pretty much it for the packaging so let me just take it out and of course I'll give you my first impressions so I'm just going to take it out of the side here like this slide that out so I'm just going to take the packaging off to the side and here we do have, of course, the last piece of the hammer that I need, which is actually really big. I'm so surprised how big this is. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. Of course, this is really the base of the hammer, which is pretty cool. So uh, in the review for uh, either of these figures, or probably both of them, I'll show the complete hammer uh, from this pack. But here, of course, we have Master Dominus and uh, Leadfoot, and that looks super cool. So my personal opinion, of course, the more interesting one is definitely this one. But I am still glad we can have another version of the Kingdom Mirage mold, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to take them out of the twisty ties, and of course I'll give you my first impressions, and that's going to be pretty much it for the video. So here we have Master Dominus out of packaging, so I'm just going to be giving you my first impressions, then of course I'll give you my first impressions of Leadfoot, but here he is. He looks super cool. So of course this is a heavy retool repaint of Ractonite from the Kingdom Wave 2 or 3, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this thing is pretty much completely changed. There is a lot of mold changes, really, where the head sculpt, the uh, whole shoulder section, the hands, and the new test section are concerned. That's brand new. Really, the main similarities uh, uh, between Ractonite and this one, of course, are the chest and the legs, but honestly, that does not bother me at all, because this actually looks super, super cool. You can actually attach the test section to the shoulder if you want to, but I'm probably going to typically use it as a weapon, and I think that looks super cool, and if you want to, you can actually move the tests inward to have them, uh, you know, of course, as like a claw, or you can have them outward, which looks pretty cool as well, but overall, first impressions, this looks really cool. I'm just going to take them off this side for a quick second. Of course, I'll give you my first impressions of of Leadfoot. Uh, so, of course, Leadfoot is just a heavy retool, uh, heavy uh, repaint retool of the Kingdom Mirage. I think the only change in mold is the head, but honestly, this figure actually looks super cool. I wasn't, of course, super excited about this figure. I actually really did like the Mirage figure, just overall, it was a pretty good one. Not the most exciting, because I do have the Siege and several other repaints of it. Uh, of course, there was, I'm pretty sure, a Netflix one. There was, um, a Halo Mirage from the Amazon Exclusive 3 pack. I have that one as well. So I do have several ver several versions of this mold, but I actually really do like the deco. Of course, the accessories are the same, and I know a lot of people are complaining about the same thing over and over again. No, there is not a port where you can plug the shoulder uh, missile into, which, yeah, that doesn't really make any sense in my opinion, but overall, that doesn't bother me that much. I like the brand new head sculpt in the blue, and the yellow actually looks pretty cool. So uh, very, very nice. Let me just quickly take out Master Dominus. So yeah, I just say this pack is definitely a success. Really, when I got this, I was definitely mostly looking forward to this figure, but actually I'm pleasantly surprised about this one. I was never expecting it to be, of course, the greatest, or I was never expecting it to be a bad figure, just, of course, it is just a repaint retool, but this one looks super cool. So let me know think of these figures in the comment section. Of course, I'll do a review of each of them separately very, very soon, and of course, I'll show that complete Wrecker Hammer very soon as well. But yeah, two really cool figures. Definitely a pleasant surprise with the lead foot. I highly suggest you get this pack. I've actually seen a lot of people... Uh, sell them, you know, only keep one and sell the other. Honestly, I think both figures are definitely worth keeping. Let me know think in the comment section down below of this pack, and I think that's pretty much it. So I'll see you. 